Hi, Nicholas. I'm with Nicholas today, and he's going to talk about his website, Aches International, www.aches.international, and we're also going to cover some other topics as well. Over to you. Yes, um, yes Aches, we founded Aches recently, and um, I didn't know there was a uh, what do you call it? A suffix. You know, most people know .co.uk or .com. There's a new one called .international. So our website site is www.8.international. And when you put that in, you'll get our website up. And we really created X to try to do what uh, Robert Kennedy's Junior's marvelous organization in America or tries to replicate it as best we can in the UK. And they really are, um, how can I say, a collective movement to help people see truths which people might otherwise not see. And one can see why people might not see those truths, because most people have to earn their living and they're very, very busy taking the children to school if they've got them and all that sort of thing. And they don't have hours to spend to go behind the scenes and find out things which the BBC won't tell people. And we got together out of a group of people who knew each other because we all ran, uh, we all worked on a Zoom together over many, many years through the lockdowns and all of that. And we then, through friendship, this organization grew like a flower, if you like, out of friendship. And we're very keen to have as many people join in what we're trying to do, which is to find out truths and make those aware, make people aware of those truths. And like, for example, in health, I mean, most people go to the doctors and they take pills and tablets. But there is a movement now whereby you can try and get the human body to heal itself. And certain doctors like Dr. Tess Laurie or Dr. McCulloch in America and Dr. Magola in America, they're part of this new way. And there's also very, very interesting scientific developments in the medical world involving quantum resonance in which you can find out how your ailments are through quantum resonance, which is a new branch of physics, which is coming into medicine. And so we want to make all this sort of information available to people so they can make up their own minds and in complete freedom. So we're not, uh, we don't want to push an agenda. We want to find out, rather like Socrates said, he said he wanted to question things in life and in society. And we're really a Socratic organization. We want to question, not in a destructive way, but in a friendly way, like friends talking to each other together on a park bench. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? And that's really what AICS is all about. And it stands for Adult Child Health and Environmental Support. And we want to bring in the uh, environmental support because there are many pollutants in our society and one of them are certain frequencies and others are chemical pollutants and we want to make sure that people know about all this and certain things in our society are not being broadcast by the mainstream media for example in certain telecommunication frequencies we discovered that you should have a certificate to protect human beings. And that certificate is called an ICNAP certificate, International Commission of Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection. And you're supposed, if you want to put up one of these transmitters, you're supposed to get such a certificate when you apply for planning application permission to your local council. And we, discovered all over the country that many of these transmitters are being applied for and granted planning permission on the basis of a certificate from a company called 3UK Limited that was never involved in the telecom industry and was dissolved in any case on the 27th of October 2015. So 
you can't get a certificate to verify public health safety out of a company. Such a company can't issue such a certificate. And so we want to make sure that people understand what is going on in relation to this sort of thing, because most people want to be concerned about their health. And that's the type of thing aches can do, because we've, we've got the time and the inclination and uh, we hope people will join with us um, and be interested in what we're doing and become part of it, really. Um, Absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, Nicholas. And just to say that we're very interested, aren't we, to partner in other with other organisations, as absolutely. you said. Yes. And um, we are actually in in this particular event that, that we're running in, in April um, coming up very shortly um yeah. in central london we are and you can get your tickets if you look at the title on the flyer here and put that into eventbrite the tickets will come up and we were very keen to partner with people as i said for example i was at an event recently and i gave mark sharman who's the ex head of uh, sky media and sport i think that was his title one of our flyers and um later in the afternoon he came back to me and he said catherine do you think that we could do a special screening of our film our latest film at your event and i immediately rang nicholas and then our team sort of got together with Mark and Oracle Films team and had a had a big conf lab, didn't we? And Indeed. we thought that we could come to some arrangement, which is really good because in this time, as as uh, Nicholas points out, of media silence on so many important issues, if we can all of us come together, all of these grassroots movements, we are, we become a formidable uh, force. And with apes, the type of things that we're looking for is people who can do web development, people who can um, write letters to their local councils, people who can who are interested to go online and look at their planning portals. Not maybe a, a hobby that many people have, but it's it's one that we've taken up uh, more recently, isn't it, Nicholas? And as uh, Nicholas says. We're both very interested in in resonance, frequency, and health. I practice homeopathy, so that's uh, that's one of our, you know, main crossovers as well, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. Wanting yeah. to look after people and not wanting to see people suffering. As there's a lady who we know who lives down in Kent who who has to sleep um, and spend most of her time underneath a Faraday canopy on her sofa in her mm. sitting room because she can't go out and about. <clears throat> These people are, you know, if we really want to live in a society where things are equal and where people have equal opportunities, we need to check the frequencies that people are being subjected to and, and make sure that they're ben beneficial for, for all life. So anything that you'd like to add before we wind up? Because I think we're, we're on our, our five minutes. Hmm. Um, just very quickly, in relation to that poor lady who uh, has to sleep under a Faraday cage, so to speak, um, we are uh, involved in something called the One Name Project, which is to give a name to the suffering that people have, which we can use internationally. And that came out of cooperation of AICS with an American uh, group in America. And these sort of collaborations, international and locally, are so beneficial. You know, productive things can come out of that sort of cooperation. Thank you so much, Nicholas. And just uh, to show you our flyer again, in case you missed it, um, Society C or Free, and put that into Eventbrite and we'll come up. Thanks yeah. so much. Great.